Good morning from Pitiliano, Tuscany. Today I'm going to give you five amazing and quick tips about food and ordering food and eating food in restaurants here in Italy. Now, when you come to Italy, eating is a basic part of your trip. And eating is very, very intertwined with Italian culture, with Italian soul. So all their day is about eating, even the language. When you make an appointment with someone, they won't tell you 1 p.m., 2 p.m. They will tell you, let's meet before lunch, let's meet after lunch, dopo cena, prima pranzo. All their lives revolve around the food. So obviously food here and uh, the way you eat it, how you eat it, food culture, food history is extremely important. And if you're not careful and if you're not knowledgeable about some basic rules of thumb, you might offend someone <laughs> or even get nasty looks and we do not want that, right? So here today in this video I'm going to teach you some very very basic rules. You should memorize these rules because there will be a quiz at the end. Uh, I'm just kidding. Or am I? But uh, anyway, let's start with tip number one. Rule number one is so important and it goes like this. When you go to seafood restaurants, you know, here in Italy, if you go to a location by the beach or by the lake, you have loads of seafood restaurants. Do not, I repeat, do not ask for cheese, parmesan or pecorino on your seafood dish. Yes, that means no cheese on fish, no cheese on shrimps, no cheese on clams, no cheese on any of that. Never! If you ask for cheese in a seafood place or when they serve you a clam dish, clam pasta, whatever, you ask for parmesan, they will look at you as if you're an alien. That's the best case scenario and at the worst case scenario, <laughs> they'll they really get mad at you. Why are you order? Why are you asking for cheese? No cheese on there. Yes, they, they, it could get really nasty. So, very very important rule: never ask for cheese and never put cheese on seafood dishes. Okay, rule number two is a bit niche, but still important. So Italy has two extremely famous cheeses. Pecorino Romano and Parmigiano Reggiano and it also has a third cheese which is almost as famous the Grana Padana. Now each cheese has its origins, has its heritage, each one has a, a different status in different parts of Italy. But most importantly, okay, if you are in the Parma region in northern Italy, okay, you cannot go into a store, a cheese store, and ask for Grana Padana or ask for Pecorino Romano. If you are in a certain part of Italy which specializes in a certain kind of cheese, you need to respect that and not offend them by asking a cheese from different parts because that might offend the people. Okay, so do some research before you go and especially if you go to a region that's famous for a certain kind of food, a region that is famous for a certain kind of cheese, you should respect that by going into the shop and asking for the cheese which the area specializes at. Okay, it's not that hard. So if you're in Parma, do not go into a cheese store and ask for Pecorino Romano or for Grana Padana. Okay, very important. And by the way, Parma and all this region is beautiful. So if you haven't been there, you should absolutely go there and we will go there one day in the future. Rule number three is somehow related to rule number two. And it's about what you order in restaurants. So like cheeses have their special place in each zone of Italy, the same goes with food, certain types of food. There are certain kinds of food, of pastas, that are specific to a specific region. And you should do a bit of research when you go to a region and read about it because, I'll give you an example. You cannot go in Bologna, which is famous for the ragu bolognese, which is uh, what we call spaghetti bolognese. Okay, you cannot go into a restaurant there and ask for pasta pesto because pasta pesto is from Genova, a whole different region of Italy. For us, it's like, yeah, it's all northern Italy. No, it's two different areas. So don't go into a Bologna restaurant and ask for pasta pesto because you might offend them. You might offend their heritage, their cuisine heritage, their you know, all that they stand for. 
So you shouldn't do that. I'll give you another example. You cannot go to this area where I'm at, southern Tuscany, into a restaurant or trattoria and ask for risotto, okay? Because this part of Italy, in Tuscany, they don't serve risotto here. Risotto is for the north and sometimes the south, but not Tuscany. Stick to the heritage when you travel around Italy because their food history is so important to them. So let's, let's respect that. Buongiorno. Okay, moving on to rule number four. And it is all about how to eat pasta in a restaurant, okay? You can eat pasta like an American tourist or like a European tourist if you want to, but if you want to eat pasta like a pro, if you want to eat pasta like true Italian, there is only one way to go about it. Do you know what that is? Well, I'm gonna tell you. But first, we're gonna enjoy this view. Just look at it. This beautiful valley. Now that we enjoy the view, I can tell you how Italians eat pasta. And the answer is fork, only fork. No knife, no spoon, okay, yes, I know, eating pasta with spoon is extremely comfortable, it's amazing, I do it too. But if you want to eat pasta like an Italian, you do it with only a fork. And the last rule I'm gonna give you is about coffee. Also, coffee is extremely important in Italian culture, we all know that. But again, if you don't want to be a tourist here in Italy, if you don't want to be looked upon as a puny, uh, filthy tourist, well, you gotta respect the laws of coffee here. And those are the laws. In the morning, you drink either espresso or cappuccino. By the way, espresso here is called simply un café. But you can definitely drink and enjoy a cappuccino in the morning. However, after 12 p.m., no true Italian would ever order cappuccino. And that is because after pranzo, after lunch, uh, it gets heavy on the stomach. It makes no sense, right? So a true Italian will never order cappuccino in the afternoon or after lunch. No, only, only un caffè, only espresso or macchiato, which is espresso with a little bit of, of milk. Um, but that is extremely, extremely important. If you want to be like the Italians, no cappuccino for you after lunch. That's it, guys. Those are my five amazing tips for restaurant, food, coffee, beverage related issues here in Italy. Please follow them if you don't want to embarrass yourself in the restaurant. Let's see if you remember the five rules. Rule number one, no cheese on seafood or fish. Rule number two, Respect the cheese. Respect the cheese. If you are in a certain area that specializes in cheese, do not ask for another kind of cheese. Rule number three. Respect food heritage. If you are in a certain part of Italy which specializes in a certain kind of food, do not ask for another kind of food which has nothing to do with the area you are at. Rule number four. Only eat pasta with a fork. Rule number five. Do not order a cappuccino after 12 p.m. Such simple rules that will change your life completely and will make you a true Italian. If you have any other rules to add, please write me down in the comments. And if you want to dispute my laws, um, you are allowed to, but, but you will be probably sentenced to a life in jail. I'm sorry. And it's with this amazing view behind me that I'm going to bid you goodbye and see you on the next video.